Today we will see how it is easy to get started with TypeScript in a Node project. Alright, hello there, I'm Dominique St. Pierre. Uh, if you watch a couple of videos on my channel, uh, you might notice that I am changing language. So I was doing the screencast in French uh, before, and now, well, I think I will uh, I will switch to English, where uh, there might be a little bit more people uh, watching the videos. So hopefully, it will reach out uh, more developer as we go along. I would like to restart doing that uh, frequently. So this uh, quick video today is how to get started with uh, writing TypeScript, in fact, how to get yourself quickly uh, up and running with a TypeScript project for a Node application, for example. So I will, I will just start by creating a folder in here and we have nothing in, in here at the moment. So the first thing that you will need to do is first install uh, TypeScript. So since I already did that, I already have TypeScript on my system. I will not do that, but this is the command that you will be that you will need to run, and this would give you the TypeScript compiler. So if you want to check your version, you can do dash dash version. I am currently running 2.2.1 on Arch Linux at the moment. So the first, first thing we'll need to do is initialize our node application. So I will just accept the default for now. This is not really uh, important at the moment. So now we have our package.json. So what we will be needing uh, first is the type definition for TypeScript. So TypeScript needs to understand what the what you want to do with um, what kind of library you are using and it needs to know the typing for those libraries so it can provide type checking uh, for your code so what i'm saying here is that i'm saying that we should bring the node typing so we will be able to have the full experience on our editor i'm using visual studio code so this is what I will be starting now. So we are on a fresh, completely blank node application at the moment. And so what we have in here is nothing more than a almost blank um, package.json, but this is the, the typing that we just brought. and. I will show you what 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 it will do in a couple of seconds. So there's a couple of reasons to wanting to write node application straight in TypeScript. So let's first let's create a TypeScript configuration file. So what this is basically is something that when we will be compiling our TypeScript file into JavaScript the TypeScript compiler will load this file automatically. So I will just set a couple of options in here. Like we will want our target to be ECMAScript 5. So it's compatible with almost anything that, that we have today. Also, our module will be CommonGS, which is the default for node application. Um, we will set the no and push it any so I will I will show you what it is in a couple of seconds so if you did not uh, do TypeScript yet um, this this should be enough so what I was what I was uh, saying was if I want to compile my TypeScript code into JavaScript I will need to invoke the TypeScript compiler so the TypeScript compiler is TSC. And now if I run that, I, we will have an error because it will not know what file it, you know, we want we want it to uh, to process. So what we will be saying in here is 
that we will have some include in here and we will want every file that will be a TypeScript file, right? So now if we were to rerun the TypeScript compiler, it will run without any error, but it, you know, it will not do anything either. So let's first create a, our first TypeScript file. So remember when we installed the types, so we do, we, we did something like npm install types and we specify node in here. So it's, it's because I wanted the, my editor to know that we are in a node application. So now if we were to request the file system package, for example, and we were to ask for, let's say the right file the write file sync and the read file sync function from there so now you see what what kind of experience we can have now so if we were to write something to a test file for example let's say and let's have it i'll put it to content for example so it will be read file sync so now we will reread we will just read what we what we have written here not a part particularly interesting uh application but still it will it will show a point so now this application is there. So that's our node application. And if we, if we run the compiler now, we should have a main.js file. So the TypeScript compiler took our TypeScript file and translated it into ECMAScript 5. So it's a, the standard uh, JavaScript standard that all browsers are currently supporting. So it's, it's similar to writing, you know, in, uh, in ECMAScript 6 or ECMAScript 2015 with Babel, for example. So you, you're basically using a language which is a little bit more comfortable to, uh, to write JavaScript in and it, the compiler just turned out something that the runtime in, in our case or the browser will will like so let's execute our file now so it's basically just printing out what we have written into into the file and now the test file is there so one way to to have better experience because you might you might look at, at this at three at this three in here and, and says well you know it's not really nice to have all the file duplicated like that and you know I totally agree uh, I've, I've worked on the on bigger uh, node application and one thing that Visual Studio Code is offering and you know I'm not, I'm not saying that others editor are not offering that. I, I just don't know out of the bat, but if we have a settings file in here, um, we could say that we want to exclude all file that matches Dot js but we want them to only be hidden if they are matching a certain pattern here which will be base name dot ts so if we have a parent t typescript file you know just hide the file that that match so we can see now it's it's no more it's no more in our tree and things like that. So it's a little bit uh, a little bit easier to work with. So when you are on the code, you just have your TypeScript code 
and you you still you know you you can still open the file if you need to because it's still there but uh yeah um another another thing that we can uh, we can see is uh, it's all fine to go to the terminal and, and run the typescript compiler but it's not it's not very fast or so there's a couple of, of things you can do you you could you could run the compiler in watch mode and in that case it will compile every every time that you you do some changes on your source code or you can more easily also create a task um, on visual studio code and let's say that we want to create a typescript that will be bound to rts ts.json and now if i run control shift b uh, it, it, it's running the compiler into the into the into the background if you will so if you if we purposely do an error in here and we rerun the same thing now our uh, output window is showing us the error right here so just a, a small something um and also so one thing we can also see if let's say that we would like to have a calculator kind of sub package for example so we could create something like a class that could have a public function that will accept two number so this is how typescript is working you basically annotate you know you give some annotation and this is how it's preventing you from you uh, using using wrong argument or things like that so we could also do something like let's have a a super calc which extend from our calc So now it's just a simple way of inheriting from another class and now we could call the add from our old, not the old, but the parent class and now we can return that times two for example. So this is, this is another function. So what it would be like from our file in here, so we could say something like we have a file called calc not a file but a package and in there we have two classes we have the calc and the super calc and now if we do something like so we can instantiate our class and do things like if I do add in here and, and you see if I if I use string it will it will tell me that there is an error because we annotate the type with with the right type that we are that we are wanting to receive. So let's instantiate our super calc now and we can also call the, the power function in here so that let's give it two so now we could build our app with our uh, shortcut or we could reuse that in here and try our app with main.js so we have our two function that were called and um I mean that's probably about it. Uh, the important part is that when you are using TypeScript and you are bringing some libraries, you need to bring the types with those library. Or if 
the libraries are not providing the types, you might need to have to create interface around those in, or around those uh, libraries so you can you can still use them. One quick thing that you can do if the library that you that you are using is not using anything, so you could still do something like you know let let's say that that you you are bringing a something called ABC so that that would be the name of the library for example so now you you could use that anywhere because ABC is is just declare as anything so you will you will not have any error in here but you know it will it will not it will not do type checking for you or anything like that but it's it's a workaround it's not the right things to do at all it's just that sometimes it's quicker than writing your own interface because if you take a look at for example if we quickly go to the node.js folder and we check our type in here the node so this is what what is providing the TypeScript compiler all the the knowledge about about something so for example the console when we do console dot so it's it's kind of checking this file and it knows that those those functionalities or those you know those function exist on on those variables so this is a this is a an interface class this is a, yeah this is an, an interface file that tells your TypeScript compiler what kind of external functionality you have from a library. So if you if you are to create a library, even if you are creating a library in JavaScript, it's still it's still worth it to to uh, write some uh, some smaller interface in TypeScript. So those that use TypeScript are, you know, have a better experiences. Uh, so uh, all right, that's about it, I think. This is how quick it is to get started with uh, TypeScript on a full node application. Make sure that you subscribe to the channel. I will be doing uh, the video in English uh, for now. So there will not be any more French video. So, uh, all right. See you soon.